Hi there friends, welcome back to Linen Bouquet. I'm Jasmine and we have already kicked off the spot of tea saucer sew along. Um, in my last video, I did show how to embroider the tea bags and even add a cute applique detail onto the tea bag if you're wanting a different look. Um, today we are moving on with making the tea bags and it is such a simple little task, but I wanted to show you um, how I got the really cute design and folds that just make this tea bag uh, stand out and look pretty realistic, I would say. I do already have my tea bag um, embroidered here and you can see it, it's already done. And then I also have the other applique option, uh, which was a design bonus that I added to the last video. Okay, first I'm going to show you what we need for this step. So you will want to get your little tea bag, which is already um, designed, whether with embroidery or applique. Okay, I have my template here, which I don't think you're going to need the tea bag template, but um, if you need to cut them out, do that. All right, and then I do have my little uh, tea tag template, and I already cut out a little tiny piece of scrap fabric for the tea tag so you don't need a lot for it it's very tiny and uh, you want to make sure that you have that cut out okay then I have my mini ironing mini iron here I have my mini iron here and then my mini ironing board which is the stitching press right here on my tabletop um I have received some questions about my stitching presses um I currently don't have any available and that is because I have been super busy uh creating the sew along for everyone and uh figuring out my new patterns but this is my stitching press i am very proud of them they are mini ironing boards that are perfect for my sewing table and sewing spaces they are super sturdy they're well constructed and um, i put designer fabrics on top to make them extra cute and to fit into the sewing space this one has uh, cute little bees from a riley blake designs fabric um so it's perfect it's a 13 by 13 square so great for uh, quilt blocks. All right, and so uh, let's move on. I I have my <sighs> I get scatterbrained. Okay, I have my tea bag here, which is unsewn. I have my tea tag here. I have my string. I only need one string. Okay, and then I have my turning tools, which are super important with this step because these tea bags are just the tiniest little things. And you may be wondering, why did you make them so tiny? Well, it's cute because it's tiny. That's why it's cute. All right, so I do have my turning tools. This one here, this is a metal um, pushing tool that you use for turning fabrics and uh, turning like long tubes of fabrics. Um, so I take out the metal piece here and I use this to turn the tiny tea tag because it's so little I can't fit my finger in there. I got these chubby fingers here, so I gotta use this. And then I also have this turning tool which I just love having. I snatched this out of my daughter's craft box uh, and it came with one of her um, little craft kits, you know, that, that they put together for kids. It is a tiny plastic tool. It's kind of pointed but still has a blunt um, edge there and then this side is kind of like um, a flathead screwdriver on one side but also it's very blunt and it's not sharp at all so I love to use this for um, uh, turning and uh, pushing out my projects because it's not sharp at all and I can also get kind of a flat edge on one side all right so those are the two tools that I will be using whenever I'm turning my items inside out and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start with a tea bag here. And I have both my embroidered and my applique tea bag. Um, I'm gonna start with the embroidered because it is intriguing me and I really wanna get this one sewn up since I have already made multiple of these embroidered ones. Uh, so I'm gonna sew this one up first. I'm going to fold this up uh, right sides together you can pin it in place if you'd like. We're going to sew this long end and uh, the bottom. Okay, and we're gonna leave the top unsewn, so make sure to uh, backstitch. I am using a, a um, walking foot because 
uh, I didn't want to change it out since I'm going to have to quilt the saucer. These are very simple sewing instructions. It doesn't take anything fancy here. So you can see the edges here and here are sewn. And I'm just gonna cut off the little excess corner. Oops. All right, with my snips, take away any unnecessary bulk. I'm gonna do the same up here. Okay. And then you can turn your tea bag which takes a little bit of practice, um, especially me with my little chubby fingers here. They have trouble sometimes, but um, we can still get it done. They still work just fine. I'm gonna use my turning tool to push this out gently. Since it is a very loosely woven linen, I try not to push too hard because I don't want to rip through push out the corners. All right, that looks really good. And then the top, it's not sewn. What we're going to do is we're going to fold this in a quarter inch of the way and press it. Okay, so it stays it stays unsewn, but it's uh, pressed down. And I like to wet my material if I'm going to be uh, folding it. It's just a little easier to grip whenever it's wet it has a little more grit to it i guess all right and it's just going to be a quarter of the way in we don't want to push it in too much okay so once it looks pretty even that looks pretty good you can press that edge there at the top Okay, and this is going to dry. I'm just going to set it aside there. And then I'm going to get the tea tag. Now the tea tag template does show a line going down the middle. You're going to fold it there, right sides together, and do the same exact thing that you did with the tea bag. You're going to sew on this side and then one of the bottom short edges, okay? Okay, now if you are not, you can see where it's sewn there. If you are not familiar with sewing patterns, um, they usually require a quarter inch seam. That is the standard. If it requires a larger seam allowance, then the pattern will usually tell you. I don't believe that I listed it in the pattern because it is the standard quarter inch seam, okay? Now this is a little tricky, so I'm going to get my turning tool. I don't know what happened out there. It sounds like my daughters are banging against the walls or something. Um, we do homeschool, so that that's why you see the the items on the wall behind me whenever I um, whenever you could see me in the camera. All right, so there, that's my little turning my little turning tip. Use that tool if you have it. If not, just get something that's uh, really thin to push that through and then gently push out the corner. You don't want to push it through the fabric and create a hole. That would be such a pain. All right, and then we're going to do the same exact thing to the top here. I'm going to spray it to get a little, a little grip there, and I'm going to push it in. Now, if this is too difficult for you to do, because um, honestly, it's a little difficult for me, um, I've seen people just um, applique their little tea tags on because they're so tiny and they don't want to fuss with it. Uh, you can raw edge applique it. Also, you could make it bigger if that's what uh, you need. I personally like the really tiny tea tag. I think what makes this pattern special is that it's so tiny and cute. All right, so that looks good. Uh, let me see if I can push that in just a little. Sometimes I do use a needle because I can kind of grip that fabric and push it in. So I've got one of my sturdier needles here and I can push that in. It helps. Okay, so then I have my tea tag 
my tea bag. They're both folded in at the top. I'm going to go ahead and give those a nice little press. This is a super hot iron, so it doesn't need much. All right, and then I have my, my twine here. Um, I do like the look of twine, but use whatever you can find, whatever you have available to you. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knot off the end as close to the edge as I can. This gives it uh, a little thickness to hold on better inside of the uh, little tea bag and tea bag items. All right, as close to the edge as possible. Okay, that way it can't be pulled out. So you can see, no matter how hard I pull, it's not gonna come out of there. All right, okay, so now we have this. I'm gonna go ahead and take the tea tag and put this little knot inside of it. Okay, use your little tools if you have them. All right, and then we're gonna add a small stitch right here to hold it in place. Okay, you see? And you can, of course, trim off those little threads. All right, and then the bottom goes right here, not into the tea bag like the top. Um, instead, we are going to take the corners, the top corners of this tea bag, and we're going to fold them down. Okay, so in the back, it should look like this, kind of like you're, you're folding a little paper airplane right there at the top. Okay. And we're going to insert this little knot right in between there. Okay, so it's just it's just tucked in knot right there. Okay. Now in the pattern, I do not suggest uh, sewing it down. Um, that is imply or that is with the assumption that you are going to sew your saucer together all at once. Since I am making multiples, I'm going to get through all of my tea bags and then sew them onto the saucers um in a different step so i am going to suggest um, adding a little tack stitch there or if you don't want to do that yet you can get a little needle you can get a pin and pin that in place so that it doesn't come out okay and then you can sew it onto the saucer um in next week's prompt step but I am going to sew this down. Okay, so there, we have our tea bag. Super easy. That was quick, that was easy. The hardest part is turning those tiny pieces, but then once you have your saucer, okay, you can just sew it on there. Really cute. So I am going to go ahead and start an assembly line where I make all of my tea bags at the same time so that they'll be ready for next week. All right, wasn't that easy? I'm amazed by how cute these are, but they're so simple to make. So yes, now that you know how to make your little tea bags, uh, take pictures, uh, get as many done as you need, and be sure to post them on Instagram using the hashtag spot of tea saucer. I will be looking for those tea bags this week and I will be choosing one winner and announcing them on Monday. Uh, the, I believe that's the 17th, October 17th. And the winner will be receiving one bundle of Fat Eighth Fabrics coming from Crimson Confections Shop. Uh, that is my friend Jennifer over on Instagram. And be sure to follow her and check out her shop. She has great fabrics and I believe she has really good sales even with um, new uh, fabric collections that just released. So go check out her shop. Um, I am going to make an assembly line and finish all of my tea bags to get them done for next week. If you feel like you are just totally ahead of the game and wanna finish your tea saucers, I encourage you to do that. Uh, work with your own schedule, but be sure to post your completed finish next week instead of this week. Unless you wanna do both, that's totally cool. But I will be looking for next week's entries um, to be the finished saucer pictures. So you can uh, kind of pace yourself out there if you'd like. There's no reason to rush through this so long. It's quick, it's fast, uh, but we can take our time and not be stressed, which is one of the best parts of sewing. Uh, we can take our time for a really fun craft. 
All right, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. But thank you to everyone who has joined this so long. I am amazed. I looked at the numbers this morning and we have 800 participants in the sew along, which is incredible. I really appreciate it. I, I could not have expected this many participants in my first sew along. So it is overwhelming and wonderful and exciting and a bit nerve wracking. I, I can't lie. I have to be honest. It, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> But it's a good thing. It's it's a wonderful thing to have so many friends here uh, sewing with me. And I just want to say thank you to all of you for being here with me. Um, I'm going to continue sewing and making that that list of or that uh, little pile of tea bags for next week. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Have a great day. I will see you all on Instagram and I can't wait to see your pictures. All right. Bye.